good evening this is dr paul thank you very much once again for tuning to our channel today today i want to talk a few minutes on fridge hug curtis syndrome this is a very commonly tested question in usmla so i want to discuss this question today before i go further i encourage you to visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net that is www.usmlevideos.net where we have posted hundreds of videos uh, just discussing the most important uh, questions that come in this examination so today we want to talk about uh, fidge hug curtis syndrome it is also known as gonococcal or chlamydial perihepatitis. So let us talk about this particular problem. Many times it comes with the right upper quadrant tenderness. So whenever you see a patient with acute or subacute salpingitis with right upper quadrant pain, you should suspect this problem. And you can also hear a hepatic friction rub in this patient as a sign. So fidge hug cutis syndrome, to define it, it can be defined as the extra pelvic manifestation of pelvic inflammatory disorder. So it results from the inflammation of the liver capsule and the diaphragm. What happens in this is Neisseria gonorrhea or chlamydia, they are the causative agents of this problem. Now, we have been thinking that Neisseria gonorrhea is the most common cause of Fitchhug Curtis syndrome. But recent studies actually show that the Chlamydia trachomatis it is actually a more common cause of uh, Fitchhug Curtis syndrome. It's almost like 5 is to 1. So these organisms, they circulate in the abdominal fluid and from the right paracolic gutter, they travel from right lower region to the upper region and ultimately through the hematogenous spread they reach the liver capsule and cause perihepatitis okay that is the pathogenesis of uh, fridge hug that is syndrome it occurs in like 15 to 30 percent of women with pelvic inflammatory disease so this is a very common problem don't think it is uh, some minor issue up to 30 percent of women can call can get this problem and it is also seen in few cases in males but it is uh, primarily a disease of women and fridge hill cutis syndrome occurs in a reproductive age of women because they are more exposed to sexual transmission of Neisseria gonorrhea and uh, chlamydia. So the syndrome, it consists of uh, uh, two phases. One is acute phase and another is a chronic phase. In acute, acute phase, you will see an excruciatingly sharp pain in the right upper quadrant. And patients, they even develop referred pain to the right shoulder. And also that pain increases with the Valsalva maneuver. What happens in Valsalva maneuver is uh, like whenever a patient cough or sneeze, the intra-abdominal pressure increases and that gives uh, the referred pain to the right shoulder. So it is the right upper quadrant pain and is most often associated with uh, salpingitis. Okay, fidge hug curtis syndrome. It can cause acute phase and chronic phase. In the chronic phase, it is the persistent pain in the right upper quadrant. Now, what is the most common sign? The most common sign, even though it is not seen in every patient, it is... Uh, the perihepatic rub. If you listen in the anterior costal region, you will find that like uh, it is the description for this uh, sign is uh, it's like walking on the new snow. The sound produced by walking on the new snow. That is the uh, that is the word we have it. Walking in the new snow sign. If you see those words, it is Fridgehug. Curtis syndrome. It is caused by infection with chlamydia trachomatis or Neisseria gonorrhea. So remember those two organisms, chlamydia trachomatis and Neisseria gonorrhea. Those are the causative agents. Now diagnosis. 
diagnosis is cervical cultures. You need to do cervical cultures uh, for Neisseria gonorrhea and the chlamydia trachomatis. You can test LFTs to uh, uh, exclude other causes of liver infections. You can test amylase and lipase to exclude gallbladder disease. You can also do urinalysis on the urine culture to exclude uh, pyronephritis or kidney infections. So you exclude all those things that might cause right upper quadrant pain and then if you see in the cervical cultures um, Neisseria gonorrhea or chlamydia trachomatis you pinpoint the diagnosis as Virgiocutis syndrome. But if you uh, doubt it. For example, if a patient has acute salpingitis and the patient developed right upper quadrant pain, you should diagnose it as perihepatitis. And the good news is all you have to do is to treat them for pelvic inflammatory disease with antibiotics. Okay, so that's about fridge hug cutter syndrome. Remember that. They don't give you the exact words, exact name, but they will test you differently. Like for example, a patient has pelvic inflammatory disease and the patient develops a right upper quadrant pain. And uh, what is this problem? How are you going to treat this patient? The answer is antibiotics. Just like the antibiotics we use for pelvic inflammatory disease are also useful to treat this disease. That's about future cutter syndrome. If you have any other important questions, please feel free to post them in our comment section. This is Dr. Paul. And uh, many, many of you have written to me about uh, a good book to study for USMLE clinical skills. I recommend uh, USMLE Smasher. USMLE Smasher is uh, very well written and it has very good cases. And uh, I studied this book to pass my examination, so I'm recommending the same material for you too because the mnemonics and uh, the doctor-patient communication in simple sentences and the 70 most common cases you find in the examination are also given in this in this book. So I recommend you to get this book, USMLE Smasher. It's available on Amazon, Barnes Noble, and X Libris. And uh, you can finish this book in like 10 days and go for the examination with a lot of confidence and nail the examination. So if you have any questions, post, please post them and you can also write to us. Visit us at uh, www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. Thank you very much.